Hey everybody, Michael Espinosa, the Sightless Senshi here. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about a particular lock. Um, this is the Brinks High Security Padlock, they call it. Um, I don't have a specific model number, unfortunately. Um, it's just a basic padlock with some like uh, little flourishes on it. It's got the bumper and the little design there. The, the, that can all come off. It's just plastic that's just uh, fit on there by friction. Um, anyway, what I wanted to talk about was a serious security flaw in this lock. Now, when we talk about lock picking, a lot of the times we're quick to dismiss lock picking as a viable threat against uh, against locks, and that's totally fair because, to you know, to a reasonable degree, it is thieves don't lock pick. Thieves do, however, learn easy bypasses that don't require much finesse, and this Brinks being a unshielded lock is very vulnerable to that. Um, by, by shielded, I'm not talking about like shielding on the shackle, I'm referring to the back of the keyway being completely open, that is it goes to, it, it allows access to the locking mechanism, which means all I would have to do is take a tool like this, uh, this Sparrow's uh, Octo Rake tool, love this thing, um, and uh, go in here and basically just uh, go up and down, and now I can't do it all of a sudden. There we go. <laughs> anyway, and pop that thing open. Now, what you might be thinking is, um, okay, well, yeah, you did it with a lock pick, so you're still lock picking. Not at all, actually. Um, this didn't involve raising pins or anything like that. Um, I didn't even need a tension tool. This is not something that requires finesse or picking. This is something that requires a strong piece of metal that is also thin. I'm using the Octo Rake because it is just so happens to be the uh, the one strong piece of metal I have near me. But it could be done with just about anything that can fit in the keyway and fit past uh, the, the keyway into the locking mechanism. Um, let's go ahead and clamp this thing up and I'll show you how it's done in a little slower motion, at least slightly. Um, let's see, so I'll get that clamped up on the body of the lock there so we can uh, have easy access to that. Uh, Go on, hold it still. There we go. Alright, so what you're going to do is take your tool, and the trick is if you go in and you go down, you'll find that you get caught and actually could risk breaking off your pick in here. It's like, gets really tight. It's actually kind of hard to get it out. So what you want to do is go in at an upward angle. So we're going to go in the keyway at an upward angle, and I'm going to, oop, <laughs> we're going to push the lock all the way back is what we're going to do apparently. This cheap vice. Alright, anyway. Uh, let me go ahead and try and reclamp this. Hang on, it's being difficult. Uh, the vice's rubber little uh, stoppers are coming off. Anyway. Okay, got that. So let's go ahead and clamp that up a little more securely. Come on, vice. Be cool. And that's kind of working. Oh my god, it's not. Okay, anyway, point being, let me <laughs> let's try take three on the vice thing. Can he pick locks? Yes. Can he operate a vice? No. Okay, anyway, that's good enough. I don't need it super tight. Anyway, so we're gonna go in there at an upward angle, and then we're gonna, let's see. Goodness gracious. Okay, you know what, the vice is getting in the way. Forget the vice. Let's just do this by hand. So I'll, I'll show you, I'll keep my fingers safely out of the way. Um, so I'll put it up here. Then we will go down and up. And of course, now it's not doing it again. What is with you, Lock? There we go. So it's a pretty easy uh, trick if you don't get camera shy and suddenly fail to be able to do it. You just have to stick the thing in, go up, uh, kind of up and to the right, then go down, then up. That's the trick. Up and to the right, down and up. And it just disengages both of the little locking, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, I guess the locking poles. Um, I don't quite know the mechanics of this thing, but it's, it's just too easy to do. I mean, yeah, you saw me fail at it a couple times while trying to show you to do it, like for example right now, but um, it's something that with the right amount of practice can be done very easily. And as you can see, uh, it just basically pops, uh, how, how you have these two uh, little grooves cut into the shackle, it pops the spring out of each one basically, or, or basically takes the spring tension away from each one rather, and just allows the lock to spring right open. It doesn't require any finesse, doesn't require any skill really, it requires a little bit of practice to get it right, but that's about it. Um, and that, I think, is a legitimate security concern. So lock picking aside, if you're considering buying one of these for security reasons and you're dismissing lock picking, that's fine. But don't dismiss the danger of bypasses, because I figured that out by accident while trying to play with some jiggler keys, and can still do it semi-effectively now. So. 
I would definitely take that into consideration if you're thinking of locking anything up with a Brinks high security lock. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I will uh, see you next time.